briefly before I jump into um, jackets and things like that, uh, I just want to talk about uh, neck gaiters. Um, I do use them. Um, they work well to, um, you know, it kind of goes against the, the train of thought that it's so hot and humid, why do you want more clothing on you? Well, yes, I get it. And at times it, they do feel kind of, um, you know, stifling, if you will, but they're really comfortable in general um, and you can kind of scrunch them down. They're really good for wicking, keeping the sweat uh, off of your skin and they do have a cooling effect. This is a buff version. Uh, at, um, fishing and, and things like in boating, they're wearing these because they work to um, keep the sun off and they do have a cooling effect. So, and they, they're good for wiping sweat off and your glasses and things like that. Really soft. I have a buff version, I have an unknown version um, here and then a, a first light product which is this is the merino I don't wear this in the hot conditions because it's just too much um, the, mer the merino one is great for winter time because it does it can keep the the cool off your neck perfect and um, also for concealment face concealment and you know you can you pull it up over your head and, and it kind of makes a face mask these are great and it's a item that's easily, they're so light, you just throw them in your pack. And if you want them, put it on, you're good. If not, you throw it in the pack. But uh, good to have. For shoes, I'm using um, 18 inch uh, boots. So I use the, the, uh, the lacrosse mud light, mudder lights. Again, I don't know if they make them anymore, but they're snake proof. Although I don't really have much, never really had much um, problems with snakes, but they, they are out there, I do see them. So. Um, they're good to have, and they're 18 inch, waterproof, can't go wrong. Um, the, the times when, uh, in winter time, it's dry season, and uh, there's opportunity to not have to wear a water boot, then I have my good pair of Solomon, These are the DTX, I believe, and there's no, really no name on them, but they're Solomon brand, and they, as you can see, they're just, they're, they, they're kind of well worn, but they, they're extremely comfortable. They work really well. They're light. They're pretty light for the amount of material. They're not leather. Um, the, the sole is like a rubberized material. And um, they're just a really good boot. Um, extremely comfortable. This is the rain gear that I have. Um, just keep it packed in a, a pouch. This is a uh, this is the uh, Kuyu product. It is the lightest rain jacket they have. I don't remember the name offhand. I'm sorry, but um, if you were to, to look on their website, um, you would see you'd be able to tell which is the the most the, the lightest version of their rain gear. And it's a Torre material. It's extremely light, so light. It's feather light. It packs really well down into a little pouch that I have here. I keep this with me pretty much everywhere I go. I just, I usually keep it in the truck, but it packs in my, my backpack for uh, the tree stand as well. It's just um, a great product. It was a little expensive, um, but well worth the investment because summertime here, it rains every, well, most days it rains basically down here. So um, most people have umbrellas. <laughs> I, I have a rain jacket. Love this product. Is our next apparel item is probably the most important one. Um, it's a Shannon Bug Tamer jacket, and I've had this for probably 20 years. And it's just the uh, it's it's an essential piece of clothing to have uh, in the Florida woods. You got to have it, even if uh, you have or you're using a um, thermocell. These do work. They work great. Perfect. Um, actually. Um, the, the process is that when you uh, get out of the truck, you turn this thing on and you have this jacket already on. You turn this on, you strap it, I strap it to my pack. However, this doesn't work when you're walking. You still get bitten when you're walking, um, but this does not, is not effective when you're walking, obviously because the uh, effective cloud or area that it emits, um, or the chemicals that it emits, are behind you if you're walking, so it doesn't work. This gets you to your stand, and get when you're settled in, then you can take it off, 
put it on, you know, hang it up, and then have this, you know, strapped underneath you or anywhere around you. So that's my um, mosquito um, uh, items that I, that I use for mosquito control. Another good item that I've uh, actually enjoyed using, and I, you know, the idea is from you know Western hunters, but still, this works really good in the tree stand situation as well. Just because you freeze up your hands and you're not, it's not something that can, you know, you have hung somewhere or set down somewhere while you're up 20 feet up in the air and you knock it off and then it falls down and it's no good to you at that if it's sitting on the ground. So I do like having it on my chest and it's a Bina harness. This is by Alaska God Creations and it's probably, um, well, I haven't tried too many of these. Um, I have tried another brand, I won't mention the name, but uh, I prefer the Alaska Guide series over you know, the other one that I've tried. So um, it's, it's, got, it's really silent, so there's no buckles or clips or Velcro or anything. It's, it's just got a single pull uh, here that, to open the lid, and the lid is encapsula encapsulates the whole um, bino inside, bi monoculars inside, so no dust or water or rain can dump in. Uh, some of them, some of the harnesses, they are, they're open on the sides. These are not. And these are um, Vortex Diamondback 10x42s. They fit really well. Um, and you can, I'm making them loud, but you can do that silently for sure. Uh, there's plenty of room in there. They fit well. And in the front pocket, I do have a um, range finder with uh, FHF um, harness. So you can just drop it if you have to. And uh, so you can range and then just drop it if you need to. <clears throat> I might just leave my uh, wind checker on top here. Um, there's like a, a, a stretch material on top. So I'll, I'll slip in my, um, my wind checker and my phone and just kind of leave them there so they're really easy to access. Um, so it works out really well. And um, the other thing about this is the harness is very comfortable. It's kind of, uh, it's like a mesh material with a, just a really thin bit of padding. It's, it's a perfect amount. It's not too bulky, it's not a strap and that's it. And it keeps the weight distributed really well. It's kind of, it's not hanging off of your neck. You're not, it's not swinging around. And the, uh, it doesn't affect, if you're archery hunting, it does not affect um, your, uh, the string at all. So it, they, they, it's been a great, great, great product. Um, again, it's kind of uh, people, you know, might think, well, that's for Western hunting in the mountains. Well, yeah, but a lot of the stuff, it works really well here in the uh, tree stand in the Florida woods. Uh, so hopefully this is a good idea for you guys.